So Airbnb is awesome. So I've been staying in so many Airbnbs over the last nine, eight years, and I can't remember the last time I actually booked a hotel. Airbnbs are so much better in every destination, in every situation, always get an Airbnb. You get so much more, so much better experience. So I've been trying to work my, my arm part uh, MacBook here at this Airbnb and, and other Airbnbs. I'm gonna link to them under this video. You can um, consider them like examples of what's possible here in Turkey. For example, welcome to Turkey. Turkey is awesome. And it's a little bit strange for me to say that because I'm a quarter Greek, right? And maybe the Greeks don't, um, wouldn't say that, let's say. But, or maybe they would, why not? Uh, but so Turkey is so awesome, but there's thousands of villas right here, for example, around. Uh, this is not, we're in the area of Bodrum right now, which is not far from the Greek island of Kos. And uh, all these villas are pretty much empty because for some reason the governments don't want Turkish people to travel to those. They don't want British people to go. There used to be a lot of British people coming to Turkey. And um, uh, some few other countries are being kind of like banned and blocked. And I don't know when the, this is the last time Americans have been coming to Europe. Hopefully they'll be back. And hopefully Europeans can come back to the US. So maybe you can write in the comments where you've been spending your past year. And I hope you've been spending uh, comfortably. And one thing you have to consider doing is social distancing. And this is how you social distance. Bring your grandparents to this place. Bring your parents here. Uh, bring your children here. Um, come here with your friends. Not only in this place, I'm just saying any place. Get some air if you can. Like Airbnb is so awesome, but over the last year, m millions of Airbnbs have been standing empty. Okay, people are totally making a mistake right here. You, you, th these Airbnbs need to be used and it's horrible for the host to have all these um, beautiful villas just stand empty with nobody um, staying in them. So get on Airbnb, come to Turkey, why not? Or go to Greece or anywhere that you think you like the weather. For example, this place, I'm gonna show you a little bit. And you think it might be expensive, right? But if you come a little bit before the, um, if you come before the, the season, like this is kind of like April time, uh, it's, it's May now, but uh, in April, or if you come in, in October after the season, potentially, or if you come during the Ramadan, this is Ramadan right now, if you come during the crazy thing where nobody's allowed to travel, you know, like there's all kinds of ways to get the price down. And so it's possible to stay in these kinds of Airbnb. I'm gonna show you the other rooms for around 10, $15 per day per person. Okay, that's completely crazy. It, it, might, it might require that you bring your friends to get this kind of price. Maybe it doesn't. You can always try to negotiate with the host and see if they are interested to match the budget that you might have. Okay, let's check the other rooms. I deeply love the low cost European airlines and I really hope they will survive. But now's the time to try to use them before they go bankrupt. They might go bankrupt. You know, like EasyJet, Ryanair, Wizz Air, Norwegian already went bankrupt. Um, I, I took Pegasus, okay? F very, very cheap flight, like 20 euros, 30 euros. You can fly from any city in Europe to Izmir, this is where I flew. Or you can fly to Bodrum, the airport is right here. Or you can fly to Antalya. Oh, there's a bunch of other airports. This is the master bedroom in this particular Airbnb. This is the craziest um, master bedroom I've ever seen okay it's completely awesome but imagine the budget doesn't have to go completely crazy especially if you can share with the two other bedrooms with with friends with two other couples for example or if you bring some family and so the, the cost per person can really be affordable check how crazy the view is with the sun coming down on the water over there uh completely amazing and completely awesome but when I'm when, when I'm here and I see all these other villas and I can see on Airbnbs that there's hundreds of listings they're all standing empty or maybe they're not maybe they're a little bit booked but like there's so much availability uh, I really hope all these hosts are not going to go bankrupt because of the past year all these Airbnbs are just not being used which is I think a huge mistake when you can consider this is the best way to socially distance get out get some air go somewhere if you can if you can afford it let's check the other rooms 
So here's the second bedroom and there's a third bedroom I'll show you just after. So um, the best way is if you get on your Facebook or something like that, tell your friends, hey, let's get out of here. You know, like try to ask your friends on this Facebook thing if they are also able to work from home. Maybe that's a very positive thing over the past year. So many people are, are figuring out how to work from home and I think that's a very positive thing. Maybe they... They are able to work from home, maybe even study from home, maybe they're independent, um, maybe they are, um, let's, let's, go, let's go to the other room over there, maybe they're just flexible um, and they can come here and work here on the Wi-Fi, uh, there's, there's SIM cards all over Turkey, maybe this could be considered like um, a children's room over here potentially. Uh, or just another couple can stay here, just, just a simple bed and just enjoy a view, try to jump in the pool every half hour or something like that. Um, enjoy that this what, that's, that's the lifestyle, that's the, that's the lifestyle here in Turkey. But th there's so many other places around the world, right? So maybe let's say you're in the USA and you're stuck in some kind of city in the US. Let me know, have you been able to escape? Have you been able to get somewhere? Are there some cool Airbnb kind of like uh, areas for you where, around where you are? You should consider it. Just please, if you, if you want to consider it, uh, use my Airbnb link. If you've never used Airbnb before, especially because then I'll get commission. And that means that I can stay for free when I go to my next Airbnbs. That would be great. You also get a discount with my link, so consider using my link. It would be strange. I think it's strange if people haven't used Airbnb yet because they've been around for so many years and they're worth hundreds of billions of dollars uh, of valuation. I just hope that the hundreds of billions are also reflected in the income for all these hosts so they can, they can pay for these amazing buildings. So I got to show you the rental car also. I've been driving 2,000 kilometers this month here in Turkey. And this is the totally awesome, probably best car right now in the world, Dacia Sendero. It's so affordable. This is only 1.3, 13 euro per day. It's an automatic car, huge space inside, can be five people inside, no problem. And um, you can also get even cheaper. You can get for 10 euro if you get uh, the Renault Symbol, which is the cheapest car right now uh, for rent, like new car in Turkey, the Renault Symbol, just 10 euro per day. So then you have your freedom, you can go around. Uh, so I've been going around uh, Sesme, which is near the Izmir airport, I mean, not very far, and then going down to Kalkan near Kash. I'll, I'll link to all these different Airbnbs. And um, also completely amazing down there. And uh, then coming up back here in Bodrum area, and uh, also another place uh, near the um, Marmar Marmaris uh, kind of area over there. And I've shown you the whole house. On the top floor, there's also a barbecue floor, uh, and also looking at the stars. So there's actually four floors, and this Airbnb is huge. It's huge. So try to share it with family, share it with friends, try to get inspiration for your startup for your job if you can work remotely this is our opportunity i think turkey really needs to have starlink to get gigabit speeds internet in every villa because right now they're using sim cards and uh, sometimes it's okay but it's not like you're not getting hundreds of megabits you're getting 20 something maybe which might be enough for your job it depends you can do zoom calls and stuff like that and i can do my uh, youtube remote videos also it, it does work all right so thanks for watching uh enjoy this country enjoy the other countries try to get some space get some space because there's so much space on this planet and so airbnb is the way to share it and to find other spaces to enjoy